This is episode 93. G'day and welcome to the My Voice Notes series. This series came about because of you. So thank you. I was receiving feedback on how you enjoy the realness and rawness of my show and that you connect with my stories and experiences. So I decided to bite my fear on the bum and share with you my most personal series yet. I spend a lot of time reflecting and I usually record my thoughts in my phone, sort of like a journal, and now you will have access to that. Please leave me a five-star review on Apple Podcasts if you enjoy this series because my intention is to inspire you to break free of anything that holds you back and to know that you are not alone. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Hello and welcome to our next episode, which is on wasting time in relationships. Who has ever felt like this? Has there been a moment in your life where you've felt like, man, I just wasted an extra year in this relationship when I already knew that it wasn't going anywhere? Have you ever had that feeling? Well, that's what inspired this episode because I am a professional at doing this (laughs) in relationships and that's why I wanted to shed some light on it so that hopefully for those of you listening, if you feel like you are in this situation or if this situation comes up in your life, you know how to handle it and not have to feel any regrets later because you've actually taken the right action that serves you. Now, I just wanted to begin with a few of the red flags, I suppose, or a few of the ways that you can understand that maybe you are in one of these relationships that isn't serving you. And one of the ways to know is that your presence alone seems to bother the other person or their presence alone seems to bother you. So if you are hanging out with your partner and you guys just don't dig each other or it's come to this place where it's just so, it just feels yuck and neither of you want to be there, this is a sign that, you know, hey, I need to tune into this and try to discover what this means for me. Something else is that you stop feeling comfortable in the relationship and at ease and you might tend to be highly strung or like super alert all the time, walking on eggshells, for example. And if you start to feel like this, like there's no sense of calm in the relationship or sense of ease and every day is a stress, this is another sign that you might be wasting time in this relationship. Now, I'm not saying that you can't work on your relationship. I'm talking about these relationships that are going nowhere. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because we have a gut instinct that really tells us if this relationship is going nowhere or if we are wasting our time. And when we aren't in tune or in rapport with our, you know, our subconscious mind or our gut instinct, then we can potentially be in a relationship that's not serving us. And then years go by, the relationship might end and you think, I could have done this ages ago or I should have done this ages ago. And there's a lot of reasons why we do this, which I'm actually not going into today because (laughs) that can be a whole other episode, but you know, that can come from conditioning and a lot of things, but you can definitely work on a relationship if you're listening and you feel like some of the things that I'm mentioning right now are your relationship. Definitely try to work on them first if you are still in love, you know, and if your partner's still in love with you and if there's just a few niggles in the road. Something else to look out for to know if the relationship is a dead end is if your partner embarrasses you in front of other people or if you embarrass your partner in front of other people, especially if you bring up or if they bring up a problem in the relationship because you are the only person who should bring up your problems to other people, not your partner. 
and vice versa. So if you find that you are embarrassing each other, questioning each other in front of other people, then this is another sign. It's disrespectful to each other. Something else is that you might feel insecure, Mm, especially when they're not with you, or they might feel insecure when you're not with them. And this shows that there is a lack of safety in the relationship or maybe a lack of trust. And we all know that trust is what is the foundation of a relationship. Something else is that they don't console you anymore or help you, advise you, or you might not console them anymore or, you know, guide them or advise them. Instead, your partner might make you feel stupid, you know, or you might ridicule them for how they feel. And if this is happening, this is another sign just to think about, oh, okay, this is something that we need to work on, or maybe it's been like this for so long and this relationship is going nowhere. And there's two more things. Your partner might not agree with anything that you say or any plan that you come up with and vice versa. You might not agree with any plan that your partner comes up with or anything that they suggest. So if there is no compromise anymore, then this is something definitely to look into. And the last one is my biggest one is that the energy just feels heavy uncomfortable. Maybe even looking into their eyes, you can see that their gaze is empty or they can see that your gaze is empty and you just feel like there's nothing left in the tank or they feel like there's nothing left in their tank. So those are a few of the things to think about, especially if you're in a relationship and you're experiencing any of these things. 100% start to work on all of those things if they are present in your relationship. Time is one of the most valuable things in the world. Time doesn't come back, which is why it is so important to take advantage of the time that we have in life. A few years ago, a couple of my friends passed away from different things and they were so young. They weren't even 30 and one was in her early 20s. And their deaths really made me think of life and time in a whole different way. And it made me realize that time is so precious. And oh, this is making me emotional (laughs) as I speak about it, just because I miss them and that they didn't get to experience the fullness of their life. And when you think about what really matters in life, which is the present moment, if you're in a relationship that is just going nowhere, and you're not doing anything about it because that's how you've been conditioned or you don't know what to do or how to get out of it, I want you to know that there is a way out. There's always a way out. And maybe all you need is some courage and some strength or this podcast to help push you into the right direction because none of us deserve to live a life where we feel unfulfilled, unhappy, disrespected, and unimportant. So let's move on to these useless relationships. And as I was saying, it's really important to take advantage of the time that you have on this earth because it is limited. And the person that you're choosing to spend your life with, or if you're single, the person that you're not choosing (laughs) to spend your life with is also really important to consider. Now, why do we get involved in useless relationships? Let me tell you that it is not deliberate. It's not like we choose to go into a shit relationship. We don't just wake up and say, hey, I'm going to date you. I know that this is going to be a terrible relationship, but I choose that. That's not what happens. So for those of you listening that have been lucky and blessed to have good relationships, this might be maybe hard for you to understand. So (laughs) just... Yeah, have an open mind as I go through a few more things when it comes to being in a dead end relationship. It all comes down to knowing who you are and exactly what you want and being courageous enough to have those boundaries in place, to set those boundaries and to enforce those boundaries. And let me tell you, I know a lot of people in my situation where we just didn't know how to do that. 
Now, when you have been in one of these relationships or if you are in one now, I don't want you to feel like a failure in any way. Everything is a learning, of course. But you've got to remember that the whole relationship was not useless. There were good times and they usually were at the start of the relationship because it's at the start of the relationship where we have all of that excitement and that fun and that beautiful passion that we all crave and what people consider the honeymoon phase. There's a difference between maintaining a good relationship and working on a good relationship and putting effort into a good relationship together and trying to force a bad relationship. So if you're trying to force a bad relationship to become good or what it is that you are seeking, it just doesn't make sense. When you're already fundamentally incompatible with someone, you run the risk of wasting too much valuable time. What does fundamentally incompatible mean? It means that that your values just aren't aligned. Maybe the trust isn't completely there. So the things that are the foundation of a solid relationship, they're just not syncing up. But just remember, everything happens for a reason. What is the silver lining from this relationship? And it's never too late. Never lose hope. Never lose faith. It is never too late for anything. Each relationship that you have in your life comes into your life to serve a purpose. My friend, Melissa Ambrosini, she said once, maybe a lot of times, but I remember listening to a podcast where she said, our relationships are our biggest spiritual assignments. And when you think about it like that, you sit back and you think, whoa, this is so right. Because every single relationship you take something from and you learn something about maybe yourself or maybe who it is or what it is that you want in life. So don't feel all doom and gloom with this voice note today. It's just here to shed light on the bad habit of going into relationship after relationship that goes nowhere because you can't set boundaries. You don't know who you are. You don't exactly know what you want. And there is ways to manifest this. Maybe I'll do a different podcast on that if you like. Just let me know. Now, the important thing is to know that, you know, some relationships will bring out the best in you. Some relationships will bring out the worst in you. And most relationships probably just won't even matter at the end. And this shouldn't discourage you from falling in love again. This shouldn't discourage you about your idea of what a great relationship is. Do not let bad relationships prevent you from keeping your heart open. This is something that a lot of people fall victim to where they say, I'll never trust girls again. I'll never trust men again because they've put that judgment in place because of one person. The world is a huge place. The people that you have chosen to be in a relationship with is because that's where you were at that point in time in your life as well. So don't feel like everybody else in the world is exactly like your partner or your ex-partner because that is not true. Every single person is an individual and every single person has different traits, different characteristics. And have a listen to this voice note. Here we go. I've wasted so much time on the wrong men and I spent so many years thinking that things would change, that they would change. Somehow I'm always drawn to people that have massive issues or problems and being the empath that I am, it's like my soul recognizes them and wants to sweep into their life and save them and show them that life can be magical and it can be happy and it can be full of light and love and fun. And in the midst of that, somehow I just end up losing myself in that process of trying to inspire magic in someone else's life. And it's difficult trying to see where the boundaries are because when you're in a relationship where you're not on the same wavelength, 
the boundary lines can get blurred and that's how you can end up in a state of unfulfillment, confusion, loneliness, even whilst you're in a relationship. And it's important to understand that if you have been brought up with blurred boundaries from the people that shaped you, it's important to do the deep work for yourself to help you to move forward because we all deserve a beautiful relationship or a beautiful love or to feel If we're single, full of self-love, it's our birthright to have that. And so this is a reflection so that you don't make the same mistake and waste years and years on the wrong person. Deep down, your gut always knows. And deep down what happens is you just tend to sweep red flags under a carpet because if you're optimistic and an empath, You don't vibrate on that level. And so you believe that the person you're with won't vibrate on that level. But it's really important to remember that everyone's on their own journey and your partner is not you. You have no idea of their perspective on the world and how they think every day. It could be absolutely different to you, no matter how much you try to inspire change in someone. And I think that's the takeaway here. You shouldn't want to change your partner. And if you want to change your partner, then you need to really reassess yourself because it's you that needs to change. Thank you times infinity for spending time with me. It really means a lot. Putting yourself first will really help escalate your goals, your dreams, and I love being on the journey with you. So make sure you come and tell me on my Instagram at whole health, which is H-O-L underscore health and comment below this podcast photo to share your thoughts on my show today. And if you enjoyed it, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes or Spotify so that I can keep bringing amazing value to you. I'm sending you truckloads of love, power, and joy. Bye for now.